Welcome to an episode of the Dragon Capture Jar, where I take a random dragon monster and talk about off the cuff. And it is the last week of December, last week of Golden Dragon Month, all of these year-end celebrations, and tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So I got a good card for this occasion. So here is the jar. And the card I have is the Chaos Dragon. Lavenir. Now I talked about this card quite early in the series, but of those of you I'm sure have followed world events, even to a small extent, this has been a pretty chaotic year um, for, for different reasons. But you know, the new year is coming, That's you know, hope, hopefully things will turn out better. And of course, I mean, that's what the Chaos Dragon Lavinaire seems to represent. Um, it uses light and darkness. You can use all light to get this guy out and revive something from the graveyard. Or you can use all dark monsters to send something back to your opponent's hand. Or if it's a combination of the both with mixed results. So you can destroy two cards that your opponent controls. It's, it's definitely one of those monsters that I think is really good to represent the end of the year. There are some bad times, there's been some good times, but you know, at the end of the day, we have the future to look forward to. So I'm hoping that, you know, in 2023, <laughs> things can only go up from here. I, at least I hope it can, I hope it can. I, I, I'm, I'm an optimistic person, but I'm also a realist. So we just have to wait and see what happens. So anyway, I am so happy. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me for this Golden Dragon Month. Um, if you subscribe, if you follow my streams, uh, thank you guys so, so much. I love hanging out with you all on streams. I will do my best to continue to do so. Yu-Gi-Oh, even though I, you know, I semi-retired from the game, like I, well, I did stop playing at my locals for quite a while, you know, I still play online and I still love to play with all of you, like, you know, in the streams. Like it's, it's still a fun, fun game, you know, and uh, while it does have its problems, we all remember why we came to the game to begin with. We had we play to to have fun, to explore the different options, and to meet new people. And as Takahashi said himself, you know, we said if uh, if this game, if the manga brought people together, made new friendships, and he knew it was worth it. So Takahashi, once again, I want to thank you so much for Yu-Gi-Oh, for the manga, the anime, the card game. You've done so so much. Far more than I think you realized that you did. And he went out as a hero, as we now know. He went out as a hero. So rest in peace, Takahashi. Happy New Year to everybody. And I hope things get better in 2023. Thank you all for, <laughs> for watching, for subscribing, for playing. And remember to be a good sport, to play the game, not the fame.